smaller the size, the higher the metabolism and the shorter the lifespan. Is that right? Well, I'm attempting to, to decrease the size by maintaining a low metabolism and resultant a longer lifespan. What reason? Overpopulation. Not a problem now, but it will be in time. I'm going to talk today about uh, whether or not it's the proper role of, of our government or any government to try to regulate the fertility of its people. And I will speak also about what happens when governments attempt to do so. Um, what gives the state the right to regulate fertility? What gives the state uh, the right to go into the bedroom and tell couples how many children they should or shouldn't have? What, what people need to realize is the world is not overpopulated. There's plenty of room on God's green earth for all of us, red and yellow, black and white. You know, it said the whole population of the world could fit comfortably in the state of Texas. I'm not advocating everybody move to Texas. I kind of like it the way it is. But it's just an illustration of how empty large parts of the world still are. The other thing people have to know is the world's population will never double again. We will hit about 8 billion in a few decades, and then we will start to decline. So our long-term problem is not too many people. Our long-term problem, a problem that many countries already have, is too few people. Right now, there are 25 million young Chinese men um, who were born at the beginning, in the beginning years of the one-child policy, who will not be able to find brides because their brides were killed in utero or before or after birth by, by female infanticide. Um, the sex ratio now in China is 117 boys uh, to 100 girls. That's the sex ratio at birth. So roughly 10% of little girls in China uh, never have a chance to draw their first breath. We still have a lot of overpopulation uh, rhetoric in the media. You still see articles blaming high gas prices on too many people, uh, high food prices on too many people. Uh, this is all nonsense. If we want to make uh, gas cheaper, we need to drill new wells. We don't need to stop young mothers from having babies. If we want more food, we need to plant more food. We need to grow more food. We don't need to force, as they do in China, young mothers to go in for abortions. 24 hours, there'll be one shrew left on the island, and he'll be dead of starvation. An excellent example of overpopulation. Well, you know something, doctor? What's that? I'm not going to worry about overpopulation just yet.